Hello. In this tutorial, we will explain remotely controlling the repeating crossbow with the GUI. Since Python is cross-platform, this GUI program can also run on other platforms. We have a previous tutorial on using the GUI to control LEDs, and it's of similar principle. First, let's see the client program. Import the socket library for communication. Import the tkinto library for writing graphical interface and instantiate it as tk while importing. Here we fill in the IP address and port number of the Raspberry Pi. Initialize this TCP connection. These two move variables are used to record the states of horizontal rotation and vertical tilt of the PT. When it is 1, it means that the exit is moving. The three variables here are the background color of the graphical interface, the text color, and the button color. The XY parameter passed in by this function is to define the position of the buttons that control the up and down, left and right. The six functions in PT buttons are used to send signals that control the movement of up and down, left and right, and stop the movement of up and down, left and right respectively. Then create four buttons to control the PT to move up and down, left and right, and determine their respective positions according to their button functions. When the buttons are clicked, the relevant functions are called to emit the signals corresponding to the functions of the buttons. When the button is released, the corresponding stop signal is also transmitted. Use the same function to define the buttons used to control the drawing and shooting of the repeating crossbow. In the main loop, we can define the name, resolution, and background color of this window. Place two sets of buttons, enable event loop, and there GUI.py is written. One thing to note is that this GUI.py file needs to wait for the server to be successfully set up before it can run. Since the multi-threaded control method has been explained in the previous tutorials, here we only explain the communication-related parts. The port number here needs to be the same as the port number of the client. Initialize the TCP server and start listening for client connections. After receiving the information sent by the client, the server judges the content of the information and executes the corresponding operation. This is the complete code for the server and client. You can try to install the crossbow on your own robot. Please subscribe and lots of interesting tutorials are coming up. Thank you for watching.